the whole world, including our country, had a lot of challenges because of COVID-19. As mentioned earlier on, it has not been very easy putting up such a conference at such a time when the whole of maybe about two years we've not been able to do any conference. I want to say that our society, our communities have really been affected. And I salute you, the health workers who have been in the front line, as we were sitting, praying, you were out there in the field, trying your best to save the lives of the many people. I want to say congratulations to you. A lot of people have said so, but for me I say, even if we don't say, our God knows what you did and what you are doing. A human being may not say thank you. They may be saying you have done nothing, but our God is there for all of us. Our God knows the efforts which you have put in. And mine is to say congratulations so much. And we ask God to give you more energy. As I start listening to the issues which are there, I want to say as a Minister of Devolution, when I think I took over uh, about three weeks, and I was checking a lot of things, what is it that I can do? What is it that I can do? And I saw under the Ministry of Devolution, there are about two programs which are running under Kenya Devolution Support Program, which are supporting our health for infrastructure in building the hospitals, equipping the hospitals, because as professionals, without the necessary equipment, you cannot achieve your goals. Therefore, it is paramount for us leaders who have been entrusted to make sure that we are working with the Council of Governors to make sure that our health facilities are world class so that you are happy. If your workplace is not good, then automatically even your results will not be good. So I know there have been a lot of challenges in terms of the equipment, in terms of the facilities, but I want to assure you that under the programs which are supported by World Bank and other donors, we are negotiating for the second phase again, so that counties which we didn't into want to support those health facilities by giving them uh, the necessary support. So I want to assure you that within the shortest time, we are going to put up a lot of funding so that we, it can go into that. Another area which we are working uh, right now, uh, another under a program by uh, DMID, is on capacity building. Training, which I think I had, I had somebody mention that without proper training, without proper equipment, knowing some of the, uh, the equipment which you are buying, I want to assure that support will go through the counties so that you are provided with the training so that the funds which the governor administer here may not be enough. But under that, it's about 13 billion, uh, which we have finalized. It will come now for the, that is only for the capacity building and the support. It's not in fact in infrastructure. So those are, it is already signed. We are, we are going to roll it out. Uh, hopefully by the next, I think I'm having a meeting next week after the evolution conference. I'm having a meeting with them so that we can roll it out. And then now you can sharpen your skills. Because some of these things, you cannot be effective. You know, sometimes having been a nurse in one hospital, throughout, no training, no new thing, it really impacts on your performance. So I want to assure you that those are some of the things which you are doing. And another issue which I had talked to uh, my colleagues when we met is uh, and uh, we are looking into the act, the county government act, so that, you know, for me, it pains me 
when I see hell walkers going on a strike, walking on a on streets, for me, that should be something which we need to change. We need to change. I know the circumstances are forcing you, but I think as a country, we have to say enough is enough so that why can we sit down and agree and move on? I mean, we are understandable people. If it is not possible, we say this is not possible, let's wait for tomorrow. Instead of doing things which later on cannot work. So I really want Seth and their team, uh, and we had promised that I'm going to, uh, we are going to meet. So that, what, what can we do to avoid all these things? What can we do to avoid the pay, when I was told, when you were saying sometimes you receive your salaries at, uh, is it three months or what? What can we do? Because in fact I was asking governor and he was telling me at the beginning of the financial year, the everything is more up and people can stay without salary for three months. How or not can you stay for three, six months? And I thought, and I, for me having been in the national government, we do our budget and there's recurrent and development. They can't they know how many workers are there, paid by the government, isn't it? And when I say the government, it's both the county and the national government. So I'm looking into, and there is a team which immediately I constituted a team, uh, the legal expert and the people who have been in the devolution ministry, to look into how can we amend the county government act so that we can bring in the public service so that, you know, like now, uh, a nurse employed in Kericho. How can that nurse be transferred to Bamet or Nairobi <laughs> or Kenyatta National Hospital or the National? So that is, um, I want to bring it so that it's seamless. Because you see, this country is one nation. We are not two nations. So we have 47 government, isn't it? So how do we inter depend on one another? So that I want to announce today, say, I'm transferring my services, I'm going to Wasigishu. It, it should be seamless without affecting you. And those are some of the things which I was saying under the, the county government act. And the team, I think by hopefully the next two weeks, we should come up with that, and I invite you to look at it. Because it will, I invite the, county, the Council of Governors, we look at it. Also the interested parties, set and your team, I, I've been told the association, I'm not, union, you are now, you are a new union. Then there are three associations. We'll invite you so that together we make this country a good country. <laughs> and we want to do that as professional, because as a profession, how do we progress your profession?